Hello! Recently, while editing some videos in Sony Vegas, I noticed that, one, Vegas was adding a little bit of motion blur, and two, I was having some intermittent pixelization issues. Now, I'm going to show you how to, I took care of both of those. Uh, the motion blur, you may or may not know. Um, I didn't know, so I'm going to point that out real quick. It's a stupidly simple fix for that. Um... Primarily, I noticed it in games such as Battlefield 3, Bioshock Infinite. First and third person shooters were especially with like a lot of move, quick movements or fast action. It tended to show up in those and it didn't add to the video. I can see why it did, why Sony Vegas does it, but it doesn't generally add to gaming videos. So to disable that when you go to render, just make sure you go over and click this button. And right now, that's what it'll look like default, and when you have it bypassing, it will obviously be highlighted there, so you see it. That means it's bypassing the motion blur. It's not going to add that to your video. And that will take care of that. Now, the intermittent pixelization issue was a little bit harder to track down, and what I was using was, I used the main concept, rendering, and I'll show you that, for my rendering, and the main concept is the MP4 extension, the one that is pretty much the preferred for YouTube as of Sony Vegas 12. And I was using the Internet HD 720. I do all my videos in 720. But I was having these weird little two or three second pixelizations. So I started playing with the presets, and that's one thing I will recommend you do. Start playing with these templates. Start saving some templates. I use a labeling system so that I know what this one does and what it does. So in this case, um, I have an NVIDIA card, so I enabled the CUDA cores to the GPU rendering to make it faster, and then CBR, which is the thing that fixed it, constant bitrate. Now I'll show you my template, and I use that, I just save with that sort of naming scheme so I know what that particular template does, and you'll see the other one is not CBR, and that means it's a variable bitrate, it's, it's the standard with the CUDA enabled, and so... What you get down here is you get down here, and normally, by default, variable bit rate is enabled, not 2-pass, and it'll be 16K and 8K. Now, 2-pass may take care of your pixelization issue. If you have one, it may, if you get 2-pass, it may never end up having a pixelization issue. In my particular case, I did. And then, uh, encoding mode, render using CUDA if available. If you have an NVIDIA card, that will be there, and that will allow you to possibly speed up your render times. So that's one thing you can do to increase your rendering speeds and possibly make them a little bit nicer. It just it just encodes it a little faster in my particular case. Now, changing from the variable bitrate to the constant bitrate, that's the setting right there. And that setting was the one that got rid of my pixelization issue. Now, the pixelization was just a few frames here and there, and the reason is that this average is not actually your minimum. Your minimum can go even farther down than that. So while it says 8K, and that's way overkill for for 720 and on YouTube, in this case, mine was occasionally dropping way below that, and that was causing that pixelization issue. As soon as I switched over to constant bitrate, I went with 10K. For me, that works very well. It gives me a nice clear picture on 480 as well as 720. And it just generally works. I'm happy with the picture quality. I'm happy with the quality that comes out after it. YouTube processes it. 480, the text is still generally readable. In fact, it's always been readable on all of the ones that I've done since I made this change. And that's something to me that gives it... So that people who don't have maybe have as good of a connection and aren't going to download or watch in 720 can still get a good picture and still get a good experience by watching your video. So these things can help you. Now, I do recommend you play with these settings, find one you like, find some settings you like. In this case, if you moved up to, say, 1080, I'd probably go 14, 16. I'd probably go for a minimum of 14K, minimum. Uh, 10K is pretty high for 720 in YouTube, but like I said, it makes my 480 look better, so I use that. And the constant bit rate gets rid of my pixelization issue. It probably, if you're having a pixelization, very intermittent pixelization issue, it'll probably get rid of yours, too. Uh, you could use a different bit rate. Like I said, I would suggest you experiment with that till you find one that's a good, good sort of compromise between size and quality. Depending on your internet, you may not want to upload a, 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 you know, a, a two or even a one gigabyte file every day. You may only want to be able to upload about 300 to 500 megabytes, and maybe you're going to go with a little bit lower of bit rate. You can do that, and that's 
that's something you'll want to play with till you find the settings that are right for you. But these things right here, the constant bit rate is going to generally get rid of any pixelization issues you have. And then if you enable, if you happen to have an NVIDIA card and enable the CUDA, you'll get a little bit faster render times. Now the constant bit rate also made my render times faster. Uh, it cut my render times probably by about 25%, so that was actually a pretty good savings. I went from having render times of around, say, a 15-minute video would take me around, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes to render. Um, I switched over to the CUDA, and that 15-minute video would take about was taking me about 20 minutes, and now it takes me about 15 minutes. So I really was happy with the results on that. I would suggest you give this a try, play with your settings, see what you can do. And find one that works really well for you, but generally, if you're having pixelization, make sure you go with a constant bit rate. If you have an NVIDIA card, make sure you use CUDA. The CUDA settings, and that will let you do stuff, and that is something that will allow you to do a little bit more. And it'll allow you to do your videos a little bit quicker, and hopefully that'll help you put out better videos. You'll give you a little more time to to put into the editing of the videos, put into the audio, and just generally set up, get a better video quality for you. So, that's going to take care of that, and I thank you guys for watching. If this did solve any pixelization issues or helped you out, just let me know in the comments below, and have a great day, everyone.